Hey, this is BR IL Fitness. Um, this is a little bit different video than what I'm no I normally do on here. Um, I I was uh, scrolling through my subscribed people or whatever on YouTube, and uh, I saw that Antoine Bayon had a video that he posted about uh, where he's been and uh, how you know what's going on with why he hasn't been making videos. Um, I don't do video responses very often. Actually, I don't think I've ever done one on YouTube. Um, but this was one I actually felt like was something that I should comment on because I've had similar experiences recently and uh, seemed like something that I should talk about. Um, first, as far as the video, um, Antoine's a huge motivator to me. Um, I always enjoy watching his videos, watching him train, stuff like that. Uh, and honestly, from watching the video, I don't care if you've never lifted a weight in your life. Um, it's going to explain a lot to you about real life friendships and stuff like that. Uh, and why you shouldn't compartmentalize your feelings. You should deal with the pain um, as much as it sucks to do uh, you have to do, be able to take the good and the bad together um, anyway I don't talk about my past much on here uh, and for good reason honestly it's none of your fucking business but about this time last year things got really bad with uh, me and my then wife um, we started fighting, wound up nine days from today will be a year. We uh, separated and uh, we were divorced last year as well. Um, I started going to a counselor who uh, said that I never grieved for the loss of a best friend that died my senior year of high school. One of my really close friends that was in a car accident uh, the year after I graduated. Um, my grandpa who passed away before my senior year in high school, my uncle and his family that passed away my first year of college. Um, I'd never taken the time to mourn any of those. Um, and uh, she said that we ha we need to mourn. It's part of the body's coping system, the mind's coping system, if you will. Um, whether it's death, divorce, your best friend moving away, um, be fucking sad about it. Like, I mean, you just hold it in, hold it in, hold it in, and uh, it's never going to get better, man. Like, honestly, um, crying doesn't make you a pussy. I had a video, <laughs> I was going through my channel, there was a video I had uploaded and made private. I literally was just crying for 10 minutes about everything that was going on at the time with my wife. Um, I never made that a public video, and uh, I never will. But crying doesn't make you a pussy. Um, to me, I think suppressing those things does that more than talking about it. Um, last May, I was 15 pounds heavier than I am right now. Right now I'm about uh, 215 pounds. I'm not in shape. I'm wearing a freaking hoodie covered up. So I look like shit, honestly. Um, I had abs. I had 230 pounds at 5 foot 6. Now I wasn't like shredded, but you couldn't see them. You could, you know. Um, and right after that, which was probably the best that I think that I've ever looked. Um, my life just went to shit. I left my job at LA Fitness. Um, I lost my apartment. Um, I actually got evicted because I didn't have the money to, to pay my bills, my rent. Um, I stopped working out, started drinking, started partying hard, um, and all that that entails. Uh, just did whatever, whenever the hell I wanted. Um, I didn't have a uh, 
job for about four months. A, a real job. Like, I did some odd jobs at one of the local bars so that I could drink. Um, I worked for Tab. <laughs> I actually worked. And then they would give me a credit in the computer so I'd come in and drink that night. And, uh, I mean, I was bragging about how many beers I drank at my county fair to our freaking county cops. Like, I mean, I had like, I want to say the number was like 30 16 ounce drafts over the course of a three hour concert. And I was standing. Um, and when the day comes that you realize that you need to straighten your life out, you need to take some baby steps. You can't do it all overnight. I mean, and be successful from the personal experience. Because I tried earlier in the year. I tried to just do everything at once. And it's too much for your mind and body to handle. Um, I was chewing tobacco again. I stopped doing that in uh, November. So it was like the 15th, somewhere around there, November, I stopped. Uh, I quit drinking on December 5th. Haven't had a drink since. Haven't even wanted one. Um, because I woke up and said, you know what, fuck this, I'm done. I mean, I got completely annihilated on the 4th. Woke up the next day to go to work and was like, fuck this, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, then I was like, alright, I'm going to start going back to the gym. I got a gym membership mid-December. I'm going to say it was around like the 17th, 18th, somewhere in there. It was about two weeks after I quit drinking. Um, now, I got my diet in check. I'm working out hard. I'm working my ass off. I'm trying to expand my online training business. I I'm just doing whatever I can to stay busy and stay focused. Um, I just want to get myself back to where I was, but even better than I was before, and not just physically. Um, I do still want to get that pro card, though, so you can bet your fucking ass that I'm going to work my ass off to get as fucking big and shredded as humanly fucking possible. Um, but thoughts, emotions, just my self. Um, and I really hope that you guys can support that as my subscribers and um, internet friends, I guess. Um, I'm just done with the partying lifestyle. I want to find someone decent to spend time with and stuff like that. Uh, actually, Antoine talked in his video about losing one of his close friends on uh, the 24th. And uh, I lost one of my absolute best friends also on the 24th. Um, he, uh, he had an overdose, and that was hard. Um, I really almost just wanted to revert back to partying, trying not to deal with it. Um, but that does nothing to honor the people that we've lost. So, instead I went to the gym. Um, I mourned. I cried. I sat at home and I cried. And, uh, because all that, all that the drinking and the partying really does is it puts a band-aid on the situation until you have to go find the bottom of another fucking bottle. And that's not a lifestyle to live. It's just really not. Um, I hope that this video can just help maybe one person find their way and get their lives, you know, back straight. You know, get back. I don't care if you fucking have never lifted a goddamn weight in your life. If I can get you to, to stop the partying heavy, find something that you give a fuck about, or used to give a fuck about, to motivate yourself, to make yourself better, then please do it. Message me if you need somebody to talk to. 
I check my shit all the time. Body by Ben 90 at gmail.com. Email me, I will get back to you within the hour. Unless I'm at work. That might be an hour and 20 minutes. Um, but I'm going to end this with a longish quote from Rocky. I'm not going to try and do Rocky's voice. But uh, I think that this is the best way to end the video. So let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. I don't care how tough you are, it'll beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, and nobody's going to hit as hard as life. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning's done. Now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits. Not point fingers saying you ain't want what you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that. That ain't you. You're better than that. I'll always love all of you no matter what. No matter what happens. Like, comment, subscribe. BRIL Fitness. I'll talk to you next time.